Hello, I'm going to show you how to um, using a mirror where you're looking at your face um, how you can build up uh, a portrait of your inner child um, finding it within your adult features as it were so I'm going to just first of all define a frame to work within so this is a little side plate so I'm going to do the portrait within the circle using tea coffee diluted ink undiluted ink and bleach and here I just uh, picked a, a blue color in case I feel like adding that and there's some pastels and paint brushes and he's, here are the applicators for the bleach and some water to rinse with. So what you need to do is to just um, look at the look at the mirror. I'm going to take off my glasses, which means I won't be able to see very well. And as a first um, move, I take quite a big brush and um, just create a, a ghost shape of the whole head. Um, the, the head is a bit like a, an egg with a point at the bottom. So I'm just going to do that. And then I'm going to also add a bit of a neck here, which uh, starts roughly at the edge of the ears. So the ears would be the, over there. So you see already now I have a sense of a head there. And then I would half close my eyes, take a different brush and notice where are the dark parts and um, just very lightly put them in. So the eyes are about halfway down this egg. So they also, so they are, there's a bit of darkness there. There's a space for a whole eye in between. And then there's another eye shape here. And if I half close my eyes, I can actually find the tip of the, nose and the place for the, the mouth. Um, so I can just work up a little bit more detail here, a little bit more shadow, and even notice perhaps that there's more light coming from this side than that side, so there's more shadow here. I'm exaggerating what I can see at the moment just to give you a clearer sense. So here's already some beginnings of a face. So a child face doesn't have, oh, let me move to that one, to the ink, diluted ink wash, to find the darker parts. So a, a child's face doesn't really have um, and because this is wet on wet, um, you don't have a lot of control. So a child's face does not have a lot of lines. Um, then the features are, are in, almost imperceptible. They're quite lightly delineated. Hardly, it's the eyes really and the mouth that has the most detail. And then I could just um, accentuate the shadowed part on this side and put the center of an ear. Um, so by, by exaggerating the fact that this is more shadowed, um, I get a more rounded feel to this. And if I want it to spread, I can just add a little bit more water to it. And then if I want more detail, I can go to the undiluted ink and either put some in a little bowl, just take a stick maybe and dip it right into this. And now with this sharp kebab stick, I'm going to be able to get a, a very sharp line, um, which will maybe run because 
it's still quite wet. Um, so you can see that the iris is partly shaded by the the, the upper eyelid. Um, and the same thing will happen over here. There's quite a big drip there. Um, so I just want to also deliberately here make a mistake, as it were, and, and put quite a lot of, of darkness that maybe you had no intention of. Maybe there was a spill here. Um, maybe there was a whole spill. Maybe you lost the eye completely. Let's say that you did that. Um, what you can do now is you can find the light again by using the bleach. So you can go back in now um, and this might be a bit trippy. Um, go back in with the bleach. This is still quite wet so it will take a long time to work. Maybe if I wanted a softer line, I could actually do it with a earbud and slowly work something into this and make it um, come back as it were. I think accidents are great because they force us to do things in a new way, in a different way. And maybe what was an accident might actually suddenly become a new thing um, and suggest a new way forward. So slowly, slowly, if I were a bit more patient and we had a little bit more time, you would see that this eye would come back. Um, with a new expression to it. So that's the demo of finding the child's face in your own face.